I think one of the fundamental problems that we have in South Africa in particular is the fact that we don't have local context in terms of the food that we eat as far as what are the caloric compositions and we need to try and accommodate our body goals within our circumstances. So right here I've got a gata, right? I've got a gata and look guys, this is probably one of the most delicious and most affordable bang for your bug meals that you will ever get in South Africa. But the reality is that you also need to consider that each time you're eating a gota, what exactly are you putting in your body, right? Now, I'm going to try and break down the micronutrient composition of this quarter as well as the calorie intake of this quarter. Now, and this quarter loaf of bread, white bread, white flour that is as well, uh, can be equivalent to about four or five slices of bread, the way I see it. Yeah, about four or five slices of bread. So, just on the bread, it's 550 calories we've already taken in. Uh, what do we have in here as well? We've got chips, we've got a Russian, we've got egg, sauces, and this is a, what we call the bourgeoisized gorda. It's got lettuce and stuff like that. Obviously, deep, deep, uh, deep fat fried uh, chips. So here you're looking at about a minimum of another 450 to 500 calories for the chips as well. Let's say 500. So you're sitting on 1,100 just on the chips and the bread. And then you have a Russian which can give you another about 150 calories. Oh, okay, 150 calories. So you're sitting on 1.250 calories. A slice of cheese which is about 100 calories so it's 1350 calories that you have now an egg fried which is also about 100 calories for one egg fried so it's 1450 calories uh, the lettuce is what we call um, calorie free food so you know that's for free uh, sauces yeah sauces Sauces, you have tomato sauce, you have uh, some thousand islands I see here. So the sauces maybe can give you about 75 calories to 100. So now you are encroaching on about 1,550 calories in one city of food. You are taking in 1,550 calories. Now, for an average sized woman to be losing weight at a reasonable rate, you need to be hitting anything from 1,500 to 1,800 calories. So if you're an average sized woman trying to lose weight, you are in essence wiping out your entire day's allocation of calories one city with this water. If you're a guy who's also trying to lose weight, for instance myself, when I'm in fat loss mode, I have to hit anything from 1,800 to 2,000 calories to lose the kind of weight that I want. So if I eat this today, it means that I've had 1,500 of those 2,000 calories. So I'm only left with 500 calories. So. In essence, guys, this is exactly what diet is about. It's about understanding the choices that you make. It's not about perfection, right? If there's nothing wrong inherently with this God, okay? It's got protein, it's got carbs, it's got everything, it's got egg, it's got... But the point is that the way it's cooked and certain ingredients like the white flour in the bread, the saturated oils in this Russian, uh, the, the, the chips is the overdose of carbs and starch inherently it makes it a high calorie count as well as low nutritional value which means that you could have made a better choice in terms of having more veggies on your plate 
more boiled eggs on your plate, having a, 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 a leaner piece of meat like a chicken breast, and you will, you will feel more full at half the calorie count at about 700 calories. This means that you can do more with the calorie allocation that you have in a particular day. What's my rec recommendation about this quarter? Am I saying never have a quarter? No, I'm not saying it because that's unrealistic. I'm saying don't have it every day. Certainly don't have it every week, you know. Have it maybe once or twice a month. And even at that, have half a quarter. That way you're taking in only 700 calories and now you've got a lot more room to play around with the calories of uh, what calories you have in the rest of your day. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to lose weight by having one good meal. Neither are you going to get fat or unhealthy by having one bad meal. So it's very important to balance it out and understand how you're going to have a conducive relationship with food.